Hi and welcome back to Hair with Holly with me, Holly. Today I'm going to show you how to do this Nicole Scheisinger inspired look. Really sleek updo and nice modern take on the ponytail as well. Okay, so to start off this look, we're going to section the top of the head into three pieces because our plait is going to run along here. So just using about the arch of the brow as a guide, so make quite a defined split because you're going to see the lines obviously. There we go. So section off the top section here, so you're going to section it into three and the middle section is where we're going to be doing our plait. So try and get it as symmetrical as possible and as even as possible on both sides because you're going to see the lines. There we go. And we're just going to pop that bit in a cloth. Now, for the rest of the hair, you want it quite out of the way so it doesn't interfere with your plait. So we're just going to pull all this back and just tie it in a little bun at the nape of the neck. So for the top section, we're going to French plait it quite tightly, working back towards the back of the head so you get a quite a tight French plait. So I'm just going to brush through this section, oops, making sure it's nice and not free. This will make plaiting a lot easier. So I'm just going to prep the top of the hair with a little bit of spray gel. just helps to give a bit of grip and makes plaiting a lot easier. It will also give a really shiny finish to the plait too. Right, so just spray. You can also use mousse for this if you want. Or it just helps. Even a little bit of water is good. And then comb through and then we're ready to start plaiting. Right, so just start this French plait like you would any other. So starting with a small enough section at the front of the head, because this is quite a tight look. Split it into three, making sure you're nice and even. And then just start working your way back. Taking a section from either side as you go making sure you keep the plait nice and tight. So just carry on doing a normal French plait, taking small sections from either side of the hair until you've worked your way back to the crown. So once you've worked your way back to the top of the crown, we're going to secure the plait in place just using a little bobbin, or I have these little elastic bands, a bit naughty, but they're so small. They're handy for looks like these. Get all the hair through. There we go, and again, pull it nice and tight. Ah, lovely. So I'm just going to pop a bit of mousse in here just to give it quite, quite a wet look. This is great because it also helps keep the hair in place. So just comb the mousse through the hair on the sides, giving that really wet look high shine. Okay. So when you comb the hair back, work up towards the end of the plait. So you get the shape right for your ponytail. So once the sides are quite sleek and defined, you can start pulling up the rest of the hair. It's a good idea just to run your comb over the outer parts of the ponytail underneath and stuff, just to make sure you get that really polished look and sleek finish. And then once you get enough height in, Secure in place using a bobbin near enough to the shade of your hair. This helps it look a bit more discreet. So we're going to grab a little bit from under the ponytail and just wrap it around the bobbin. So it just makes for a really polished finish and just makes it look a bit different than your everyday ponytail. There we go. And then just throw a few pins in that to make sure it's secure. So if you want, uh, if you have quite long hair like our model here, you can pop a few curls in the end of this or, you know, even straighten it, but I think the natural texture is lovely here, so we're going to leave it as it is. So we're just going to finish off the whole look with a good bit of hairspray, especially along the top, just making sure you smooth down any little flyaways that you have. So do tune in the next week where I'll be showing you how to do a fake bob. Brilliant look if you want to change it up, but you don't want to go for the chop. See you then.